Hey guys, this is Rambo speaking. Today we're going to be looking at Invasion Demolition. I will be commentating my own gameplay and my capture card isn't that great, so please don't complain about the quality. Um, we're going to be looking at the defensive side of Invasion Demolition. Uh, this was taken during our first Xbox 3 MLG3 match against uh, Legend Status. Um, what we're going to we're gonna see here is uh, mainly how to play aggressive and uh, just play smart, smartly and be aggressive at the same time on, uh, on that. So we're going to get started right now. Alright, so we're going to do this in segments. Um, I'm going to cut the video and explain why what decision I'm making. And uh, it'll, it won't it will be as much gameplay, but at least people understand a little more what I'm doing. Um, right here is the bake off for basic rush. Two guys go A, two guys go B. Try to cut off whatever's pushing. Everyone does that. Um, the, what people don't really use are used to doing is to go help their other teammates out. As you see, one of my teammates died at A. And since they're all pushing A, usually the team sticks to one side at a time. Uh, there's really no use for me to push in and uh, just waiting for nothing. So uh, what we saw right there is it's really important if your team needs help on one side, don't be scared to leave that site. Uh, you got to have confidence in your teammates to get the kills done if ever they do get inside the site you left, which was B at that time. Okay, so since I know they're going to push A, I'm going to try to cut off River Street, which is the main route to get to Red and uh, push up so I get a good nade kill. I'm going to come back and be aggressive on their spawn. Uh, you couldn't really hear it, but I stunned two guys at that River Humvee and I only killed one, so I kind of knew that second guy was going to come. Uh, right here, I'm really confident they're going to spawn River again because I got a guy in Blue Building, so that's going to cut off every spawn that's near the Blue Building. So I'm able to get another kill off spawn and hold him back a little longer. Alright, so after that, I'm going to make sure they do get spawns River to push them back since I got a teammate watching River. Uh, right here, I get a good knife kill. Uh, I didn't really get a kill. I just figured he'd be there. And I really, Right here, it's really important. My teammate at River pushed up, so I'm not going to be aggressive too much because if ever they get a two-piece, then they might push in and get in while there's no one back. So it's really important to not to be flooding an area too hard when you're being aggressive like this. So right here, you saw my teammate died. And I'm going to try being red. Right here, I'm not really patient. I'm trying to look for the kill too much, and I get killed off of it. It wasn't really a good decision on my part. Uh, once again, you see me pressing start when I die. Really important. All right, so I'm going to be coming off spawn. One of my teammates just found Fountain, so I'm going to be ready for spawning Fountain, since you usually spawn right where your teammate dies. As you can see, a little head right there. One of my teammates died in B Street, so he just called out. He probably just called out two or three guys on B Street, so this is the reason why we're coming. Uh, we're pushing back to B, since their A rushes pretty didn't go well, so... I get a pretty good two-piece right here. I'm just going to try and stay alive. I've got a call out from my truck. I get a little lucky there with the last shot. And uh, really just holding broken is really important when you're watching B Street. Um, if you have a teammate in broken, usually it's going to keep the other team from getting a, getting in a really fast push off B Street and uh, cut off your teammates from getting back in there. Okay, so coming off that three kills, I'm going to push up here. Uh, usually they'll spawn river, but... Maybe one of my guys was maybe too close to the river there and probably cut off the spawn since they spawn right back to blue and they're right there in front of me. So I'm going to spawn Delhi right here. So usually when you spawn Delhi, it's either because they're pushing A or they're pushing, they're just spawning back blue. Uh, the game's kind of weird like that. So you see me right here. I didn't get a call out on where they were, so I didn't really push right away. But where, as soon as I got a call out, I started moving out. Um, right here, I'm going to drop an A on the bomb site since one guy's mostly at your planning. That nade somehow doesn't kill him and he gets a plan off. So right here I'm kind of screwed. I ran out of bullets and I got lightweight. And lightweight with a pistol is not the best. So I get out shot from behind the bomb site. Uh, once again I press star when I die. Really important. Everyone should be doing that. So right here I'm probably going to get a fountain spawn again. Uh, since my team's trying to defuse A I'm going to go support them at A. Uh, the more people you have on the bomb site the better chance you have of defusing it. So I'm just going to try and cover whatever they're not watching. And right there was B-Dom, and uh, I get stunned by someone right there, and I kind of die from it. So we're going to see what happens on spawn. We get the A defuse. Right here I spawn River, but I only have one guy at B, and he's not pushed up in the street. So uh, the chances are of them spawning closer to blue are very probable. Right here I get a good nade off B-Dom. Um, I don't know if my teammate died in Siberia or not, but I pushed through Alley. And I get a nice two-piece right here, so I'm just going to try to cut off as much as I can. There's, there's about 15 seconds left of the game right now. They don't really have a chance of pushing B, so I'm just going to try to be annoying down here. And uh, have some fun for the remainder of the game. Shanking people is a lot of fun if you didn't know yet. You should try it. Um, so yeah, that pretty much sums it up on how to play a good defensive, aggressive side on this map. As far as demolition is concerned. 
All right, so we're going to finish this off by going over a couple points here that are listed up on the screen. Uh, first one is calling out. It's so easy to press start when you die, and there's really no use. There's absolutely no team that should not be doing this because it's just so easy to do, and it's so useful to the team that to an extent where if you don't do it, then you're not going to be good at the game. So pressing start and calling out is really important. Uh, the second was smart, making smart, logical decisions. Um, the, the easiest way to gain smarts is by going over what you're doing. And if you see it doesn't work, then try to play it differently next time. And just keep doing it differently. I mean, like, making smart decision is really based off what your team's thinking and what they're doing. So really trying to think what they're thinking and play against what they're doing. So um, that's another point. Uh, the third one would be anticipating opponents. It, this goes in with a little bit with number two. Um, really anticipating where they're spawning, what they're going to do. Uh, it really helps you make logical decisions and kill people without dying. So, I mean, if you kill someone and you die right after, then you obviously weren't in the best position or you were caught off guard by a couple of teammates that were pushing you, or a couple of opponents, I mean. Uh, number four is playing as a team. Uh, it's really important to follow your team and not try to do something that you're not supposed to do. So, example, um, I got three teammates trying to defuse a bomb at A. Unless I spawn B, I really shouldn't be not trying to help them out. It's uh, really important to kill as many people as you can. Uh, once again, this goes back to decision making. And the uh, last one is not to try to do too much at once. You saw me a couple times die right there because I was trying to like maybe be a little too greedy. Uh, really, really important to know what you're doing and to like be aware of what you're doing. So if I kill two guys when I'm really close to their spawn, maybe try to push back and outthink him. Maybe they'll be expecting you to be still there. So maybe try to place yourself in a position where you're going to be waiting for them and really make things easy on yourself instead of just trying to do uh, a lot of kills a lot of things at once and trying to make it look good it's really in the end it, the team that wins is not the team that's trying to look good it's the team that plays the gayest and the team that plays the smartest so that's going to do it for this uh podcast i hope you guys enjoyed it um hope you guys learned a couple things off of it and uh, i should be posting more more of these pretty soon